Setting up a Google My Business account is very important as Google is the largest search engine obviously and it helps you show up correctly at the top of search and show up more prominently as well. So to set this up you're going to go to google.com slash business and then click on manage now to set it up. So if you're not signed in you'll have to just quickly sign in there, most of us are signed in most of the time. And then you're going to go to find and manage your business. So what you need to do here is do a search for your business. What they want to see is whether it is already input, input into Google. Even if you didn't set it up, a customer may have done or someone may have put the info in there. So you have to do a search for it first and it says at the top create a business with this name if there isn't one that matches, right? So that's what we're going to click on. Choose the category that fits your business best. So music school is going to be the most accurate. Now this is entirely up to you. If you're teaching out of your home and you don't want to list your address then you can click no here. If you, at all possible you can list your address I suggest that you do. Where do we serve our customers? Let's say we're in Cork, just for fun. Now, it will ask for your address at this stage, but this isn't going to be shown if you selected no before. So I'm just going to input my address here. Now at this stage it's going to ask to postcard, send you a postcard um, and you'll have to wait for that to arrive in order to verify. After it has come through I'm going to show you how to manage your information on your Google My Business listing using my own studio which is already verified. So when I go to Google My Business and I am logged in, business.google.com and I'm logged in and I have a verified business as I actually do, then it's going to show up right here and I'm going to be able to edit stuff about my business. So under info here you'll see that I've already added office hours, you can add special hours for holidays, you can add your phone number, um, and other details here. It's all fairly straightforward. Make sure to fill in as much as you possibly can here. And then after that, make sure to send people through to review your business. So send this link to customers, etc., so that they can review your business and hopefully give you a good review and help you show up in Google. Final thing I want to show you is how this actually looks in Google itself. So if I search for Let's do this in an incognito tab so that it's not biased, okay? So if I search for Crumlin Piano Teacher and I'm not logged in as myself, then I'll see there's a school down the road and then I'm second here. But then I've also got this whopping big Google My Business listing over here. So this is my website, that's where it's showing up there. And I'm second, which is fine. But this is going to catch people's eyes really well um, and that's my Google My Business listing so it's basically a map listing is what it is and you can click through to see more about it there, that's the photos so this is what it looks like inside Google Maps on a phone obviously this pops up a lot as well because that's what people are often searching for and then you'll see my reviews down here five stars thankfully um, and lots of reviews from happy piano parents over there. So that's Google My Business. I highly recommend getting it set up for your studio. It can be really valuable in terms of people finding out about you and the services you offer.